Hey, what's up Land Rover family? Um, we're out here on a Sunday again, and today we're actually gonna be talking about your fender flares and why they're always gonna be problematic and uh, see if we can fix some of the issues that most people are having with them. And usually the ones that are wheeling them pretty hard. Uh, I, I love the detailing of these things. I love what it does to the look of the Land Rover. Um, I remember the first time I, I owned a 91 Forerunner, and uh, unfortunately at that time they didn't have the fender flares, but by the time they got to the third generation, I know they uh, started adding the fender flares and it just completely changed the look of them and it was really cool. So uh, this is one of the things that really attracts me to the Land Rovers is that they have them already installed from the factory and it's not an option. So it is, again, one of those things that just really adds to the detailing and the look of this thing, especially when you fill out the, the wheel wells uh, with bigger tires. So we all know that when you start wheeling really hard is that as soon as you hit these things, they start to pop off uh, from the panel clips. And the thing is they're designed to do that. Uh, you don't wanna be bending panels if they, these were actually solidly mounted uh, or permanently mounted. Uh, I know a lot of them have problems when they use the 3M VHB tape that is a permanent uh, way to affix anything to uh, a vehicle and usually that will stay uh, connected um, before it actually releases from what you uh, have used to adhere the, the panel to that. So these again were designed to be a uh, breakaway for lack of a better word. The problem is, is that the panel clips are really uh, fragile, especially as they age, they get a little bit more brittle. And when you take these things off and put them back on, they end up just breaking and you're gonna have to buy more panel clips. So we're gonna try to find a way that we can still have the breakaway feature. Um, it's connected by screws in certain areas where they are permanently affixed, but even these tabs that are inside for these permanent, uh, sorry, for these uh, panel clips that are in the fender liner um, are, are tend to break away but those tabs actually bend as well so if you do have a pretty bad uh, rub then you can always just bend it back and everything should be okay so again one of those things that if you're adding bigger tires or doing any modifications to your uh, vehicle you might want to address this area um, if as you I've mentioned before in a lot of my other videos, I actually take off the uh, wheel well uh, liner, uh, the fender liner, just because I'm doing a lot of suspension work in the back here, constantly fixing things, and it's always a pain to navigate around the, that when you have to do something. You have to take off all the panel clips and pull that thing out, and it's big, it's cumbersome. I just tend not to, to run them at all. So this will make this mod a lot easier. If you're gonna be doing anything like this, you are gonna to have to remove the fender liner uh, to be able to get to these panel clips. But uh, here, and here's just a prime example of how I can hit this thing and it'll just pop right off. And that's you know pretty much secured by most of the clips, but they're just old. Now granted, these ones uh, down in the bottom should hold everything together and I've removed them, but even then, you know these things are still gonna pop off and you're gonna have to come out after hearing it and then kind of push it back in and then these things are gonna wind up getting broken anyways. So let's see if we can find out a solution for fixing these uh, in a slightly different manner but still have the breakaway feature. And then I'll also show you another method that if you don't wheel as hard and you want to go for a permanent method, uh, we have a solution for that as well. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I actually took off everything from the fender liner and uh, the lower panel clips that go here. Uh, there's a bunch of videos that show you how to remove these things and basically it would be great if you had um, one of those mini crowbar liking panel tools that just pry up the center section and will allow you to remove that fairly simply. Um, so again, you are going to have to remove the fender liner. You are going to have to remove your front headlight to get to the screw that holds this front unit right here. And you're going to have to uh, do that for the rear as well to be able to remove this whole entire uh, fender section. And then what we're going to do is once you uh, remove the fender liner, basically it exposes the back end of where these uh, panel clips are uh, located. and. All you have to really do is just squeeze it. 
can see it's kind of hard to see. Moving. There we go. All right, so as you can see, it's just so brittle that it already broke. So um, you're gonna have to remove all of these. We're gonna take all of these off all the way around, and then um, we're gonna come up with the, the next solution and show you exactly what we're gonna do to make this system work a little bit better. All right, so now I'm gonna show you actually what we're gonna to do to replace these things. Uh, basically, I'll leave a link to these, and these are the items that you can get on Amazon. For those of you that are in other countries, uh, it might be under a different listing, but, and also metric. So the one thing that we do have is an actual Land Rover part, but it's from a D2. And basically it is this panel clip, as you can see there. And you notice that it's got some ridges here that you can see right there and a little opening here that you can actually slip into the fender liner and one thing that you might want to do I'll have uh, these panel clips I haven't removed yet but one thing that you might want to do is as soon as you slip that in uh, you might want to glue it because uh, it might be a little bit loose but for the purposes of just doing this I'm just gonna leave them uh, loose right now and show you exactly how we're gonna do this uh, the next thing is a packet of grommets and again these are in English so um, we are going to be using a 5 16 inch grommet okay and basically what that does is as soon as you lock it in here it's going to be fairly rigid um, I haven't I'm not going to push it all the way in yet but it's gonna be fairly rigid and fairly solid, but also gonna give you the uh, breakaway uh, action that this fender requires, all right? So let me show you how to do that. All right, so while I'm holding the camera, basically we're gonna have a bunch of holes here. Now this is a guide hole that you're not gonna be putting the grommet in because that's part of the uh, fender liner uh, guide that drops it in there. So you take your 5 16 grommet, and that's it. You're pretty much done. You got to do that all the way around. Again, another guide hole. Uh, you're going to do that all the way around. And then we're going to leave this one here open because that's where you actually screw in from the inside of the, uh, the headlight uh, cavity. So, all right. So just install them all the way around. All right. So again, since these are going to be a little bit tight fit, it's going to be a little bit of a, a hustle to get these things in there. So I've installed all these D2 panel clips, um, panel rivets whatever they call them. And they do actually come in a pack of 40. That is enough to be able to get this job done for you. So, all right, now you're gonna have to do is just line these things up. And again, it's gonna take a little bit of hustling. All right, I think we're lined up here and we're here and that's it. Okay, and that's actually in there pretty solid. So now, remember this is not screwed in here. So once it gets, gets screwed in, it's gonna be a lot more solid. Um, even without the lower uh, rivets, um, this thing is in there pretty solid. And it also is gonna give you the ability to break away see it'll just pull off here this off quickly there you go and it'll at least last a lot longer than these wonderful bad boys that everybody loves to hate so let's uh try to get rid of these things all right there you go all right so the other thing is that we're not going to be completely giving up on these these are still going to be required so you're going to want to install these back now again it's your choice to uh, run your fender liners. Uh, I can't stand them, so you won't see my fender liners in here. But after you do this mod, then you're going to put your fender liners back in and then install all the other remaining uh, clips that hold the, the system together. All right, so there you have it. A D2 panel rivet. 
as well as a 5 16 rubber grommet. Now, I don't know what this is in metric, maybe eight millimeter, um, that's a guess. Uh, so if you do get these panel clips, you're probably gonna wanna test it with whatever you have available in your country and make sure that it's just a tight fit. Uh, long term, I don't know. Uh, again, I just was thinking about this and came to me in a dream uh, about a new way to fix the fender flares. So long term, hopefully it'll work. Uh, the other thing is that this is a rubber product, so it'll eventually get brittle and probably dry up and crack. Does that make that any better than the, the other clips? I, I, I don't know. But what you can do is you could probably just spray it down with uh, some WD-40 or some sort of lubricant to keep it hydrated and prevent, you know, give it a little bit more time uh, before it actually starts to break down. But uh, again, I will obviously, we'll, the first time we take it wheeling and the first time we have a wheel rub, we'll see how it holds up. Um, it's maybe a, just a temporary solution, might not be a, a solution at all, but I'm certainly gonna try it and report back and let you know how this goes. All right, thanks for watching.